You got who's all messed up. Hey, give it to me. What do you got? Back, neck, what's the worst? I don't really know anymore, to be honest with you. Probably shoulder, shoulder, neck. Which shoulder, right or left? Right. I do have two joints, though, also in my hip. That's oh, sort of yeah, a physical abnormality from childbirth, I guess. Wait, what? I have two joints in my hip, which is pulling all the time. So, like, my hip is slightly off like that and in, I believe. All right, no, so it's, it's out, actually. So it's it's out and up. So someone took x-rays of you at mm -hmm. some point. Yeah. What did they say? They said you have... They said they could help me, so... Yeah. Well, who took... Oh, did um, was it a chiropractor that took yeah, x-rays? Yeah, a chiropractor in Lidditz. Um, there's no fusion or anything. Okay. Um, there's a little bit of a curvature. Two, there was two joints, basically, below my hip. Oh, two joints that were... And there's only supposed to be one. So I have a second one. Okay. It's like a birth defect, I guess. So, okay. <laughs> um, my dad actually has a second or a one too many vertebrae in his spine also. Other than that, the neck had some issues going on and uh, jaw. I've been hit in the head probably hundreds of times, punched, kicked. Um, used to be a martial artist, mixed martial artist. So I went through about a year and a half of not being able to breathe full, full breaths. It's part of the reason why I, I stopped um, training so hard and um, all that. But uh, it would get to a point where I would take a breath and it would just shut off. So like even if I had to sneeze, I'd feel it. It would come, on, come to a certain point and then just go away. And I could not get a full breath to, you know, save my life <laughs> at the time. Play football. Okay. Uh, they... They said it was a stinger, but I, I definitely screwed my shoulder up. Yeah, he broke his hand um, three times. Yeah. So he had yeah. surgery on I did have a crate <laughs> fall on my foot, 100 pound crate, kind of smashed my foot. Any headaches ever? If I don't drink coffee, I'll probably have a headache every day. Joel definitely feels messed up all the time. All right, a lot of work to do. I'm gonna do an exam on your spine and then I'll get you adjusted, okay? Awesome. A little bit of externally rotated on the right there. You might see an IN on the right. By the way, the foot looks. Looking at the arches here, decreased to completely gone arches on both sides. No pronation and the Achilles tendon is straight. Of a high right shoulder. You can see a difference in the muscle definition on the right side versus the left side too. Uh, close your eyes. Okay, a little forward rocking there. Okay, you're going to open your eyes. So just A to P, forward sway. So a category one. Okay, we're lower on the right. So that would mean a PI on the right. And then let's look at the hips here. Whew, higher right hip. Okay, we, we would have an EX on the left or an IN on the right. And then feeling the top of the glute fibers here. No hypertonicity at all in this situation. Postural humping here. Your, your curvatures actually look pretty good. Um, I can see where he would say that there was a slight curvature. It's here, this left thoracic lumbar curvature. Very slight. You wouldn't even call that a scoliosis. There's no way that's 10 degrees on an x-ray. Very symmetrical in tone all the way down your spine. But I do feel a little bit more hypertonicity here in the right thoracic yeah, there lumbar. There was some serious stuff that happened there at one point, too. Down um, here? Yeah, I picked, a, I picked up a log over my shoulder and... I mean, fairly decent sized one. And it brought me to my knees and I had to basically crawl for help. And luckily somebody's homeowner insurance was able to cover uh, some some work that was done back there. And it was mostly uh, massage therapy. All right, go. But yeah, I don't know what it was. She was worried it was a cracked vertebrae and she didn't x-ray it. So she just sort of worked on massage. A massage therapist? Yeah. Well, she was a chiropractor, but she um, did not have the uh, x-ray capabilities, I guess. There's x-rays on every corner. You can go get an x-ray anywhere. It's radiology. All right. Was the x-ray that you got taken actually before that or after it that? It was after that. So. Um, okay. So if anything was there, it would have showed up like mm -hmm. if you had a compression fracture or anything.
more tender over here on this right side or left side? As far as pain or... Yeah, yeah, which... Um, or same, that could be the same. I kind of feel it more on the left, to be honest. All right. Left, right. Okay, yeah, it's on the right. Okay. <laughs> Fairly equal though, I'm pretty even. Yeah, that's okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna push into the lumbar spine here. Is it your L5 is a little bit stagnant, so you probably have an accessory joint from. Not a fusion, but an accessory joint of your of your L5 and your S1 connecting, maybe with some extra bone formation there. Your dad probably has the same thing. You said he has an extra vertebra, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes the S1, the top of the sacrum, it doesn't fuse, mm -hmm. and so it's like an L6 instead of if six lumbar segments. I see. Unless he has um, eight cervical. Sometimes you have eight cervical or you have six lumbar. Just anomalies in the spine. It has been feeling worse lately. I've been having to drive a whole lot more over the past couple of years, longer distances. And uh, I'm just not as active as I used to be either, so it seems like it's tightening up. Not bad, you have some tension in the trapezius muscle, levator scapula, no trigger points here, but definitely hypertonic. There is a little bit of a trigger point right there on this levator scapula muscle, that's okay. Okay, bring your chin down to your chest. Go ahead and back up. Down. Up. Down. Bring your left ear down to your shoulder. Right here. Does this feel the same to you? You feel more restricted? Uh, left, I think, feels more restricted. Like when I bring my left down to my shoulder, it feels like it's supposed to be moving that way. When I pull my right down to the shoulder, it feels like it's kinking to the side or something. Something bunching up, it feels like. Why don't we go this way? Yeah. Bunches here. Yeah. yeah. The other side feels more, feels like it wants to crack the other side and then. This side feels like it wants yeah, to crack. Yeah, left feels like it wants to crack, right feels like it just wants to knot up. Right short, stay short, points to the left. A side joint. This feels any pain, discomfort, tension here? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, any pain, Jeez, discomfort, tension nice. here? Yep, a little bit. About the same, uh, both sides? Yeah. Same, both sides? Uh, I would say so, yeah. Discomfort, tension here? I mean, it kind of feels good, but it is discomfort. Right and left, right and left, are they the same? You feel one more than the other? No, no, about the same. Right, left, right, same. Okay, right, right on that one. Okay, we're L3, L4, we're on the right side here. There's a little, there is some muscle. Uh, this is one of the spinal muscles, um, the spinalis muscle. 
and the left side's not there. So that's telling us that we may have a right lumbar segment to adjust. Down. Left leg. Down. Yeah, I really feel it in my right hip, um, lifting my right leg. Okay, right leg was easier. We have to adjust both SI joints actually. Looks like we're gonna adjust the SI joint on both sides. The right side's gonna be our PIIN. The left side is gonna be the ASEX. Wait, hold on, what is this thing right here? Uh, That's he, a has, nodule. he has not, uh, nodules. I also have one on my thyroid, apparently. Okay. All right, sir, we're gonna beat you up a little bit here. Do work. A little stretch here. Good breathing. start with this guy right here nice and gentle breathing go and take a deep breath in we're gonna follow your breath out let's sink in good yeah. Yeah. good take another breath in but just a soft breath and just go all the way but don't lift your shoulders or anything but go all the way good and now let it out That one has been needing to go for a very long time. Okay, gentle breathing, sinking in. Good shoulders sink. Good. There. Deep. Better. Soft breath. Good. 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 Lay your back. Good. Good. Letting the shoulders sink. Good. Lay the hips sink. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Lay your back. Okay, turn your head to the right. Back to center. 
Now to the left, back to center. All right, uh, bring your right ear down to your shoulder. without resistance. Right here, C1, we're gonna push in that direction just like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, good, breathing and sinking into the breath. Good. <laughs> good, okay. Okay, we're adjusting. Now it's tender. Yeah, we're adjusting. I feel that. Good, 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 good. Good awareness there, we're gonna adjust this C2 on the left. Good. Sinking in. <laughs> it's always just a surprise. It's like, you can go that far. <laughs> oh, good. Let relax here. Good. Good. Oh, now on the left side, good. Open just slightly. Okay, we're gonna follow the breath out, and then we pull in that direction like that, okay? That <laughs> did something, I know that. Where? <laughs> uh, the whole thing. <laughs> From my tailbone to my neck. <laughs> Alright, walk around a little bit. Let's see how it feels. Thank you for a test drive. Definitely uh, stretched out, maybe a little taller, I hope. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, have a seat there on the table. You look like you got the nice chiropractic high. <laughs> I think I might be. You got an issue there? I might, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know, it's just always tender, a lot. Let's see. Sometimes it feels like it's worn out, like that joint is totally like in pain sometimes. Okay. In this one too. Mm. I did a lot of masonry, a lot mm. of grabbing, you know, uh, squeezing with those, um, I don't know what you'd call it, <laughs> the joint, but, uh, How old are you? I'm, uh, 38. Okay. Let that relax here. Mm. Is this painful like that? Nope. Okay, a little push. Could be what it needed. You're really like too young for arthritis. But you might just have some natural wear and tear in there. Radius. Yes. I push this back. Push, push, push. Arch again. Left side, push. Oh. <laughs> Just did it. <laughs> I bring your chin down. 
<laughs> Who would have thought? You're a wrestler in high school too. Now, um, oh, it's all from the. That was yep. All after high school. Chi Kong exercises too. I used to do a lot more of that. Should probably get back into it. Chi Kong is great for the uh, for the mental. Get in touch with your breath and the moment. So that's spirituality to some people, but it's it's a nice calming effect on the nervous system. It increases your dopamine for sure. And. Uh, but stretching is where the medicine is uh, for your back pain. Okay. You know, yeah, the reach, reach stretching is good, but even just a simple, basic 10 minute yoga thing in the morning. It'll make a big difference stretching every day. Okay. Cause you don't have any, there's no, I mean like we had, I had to see what's happening on x-ray with this double joint, but, um, yeah, your spine adjusted fine. There's you, really nothing in your spine that tells me you need to have pain all the time. That's what I'm trying to say. Gotcha. Good to know. Yep. Mm -hmm. 